The basic building block of a battery is having two different metals and a salty solution in between. You're going to make a salt solution by taking your small container of water and adding salt until you have a saturated solution. That means you're going to add enough salt so that you might still see some solid salt particles that haven't dissolved. That's just fine. Then this battery works a little better if the salt solution is acidic. So take your vinegar and just add a little bit. The amount really doesn't matter. We're going to use the mat board squares to soak up the salt solution. So I've cut four pieces of mat board that are about the size of a penny and just stick them in the solution so that they soak up all that salt water. The two different kinds of metal are going to come from pennies made after 1982. Before 1982, pennies were mostly copper, and after 1982, the mint changed the recipe so that the centers were made of zinc, and there was only a copper coating on the outside. We're going to expose that zinc center by sanding off one face of the penny. A little tip is that the Lincoln Memorial side, the tail side of the penny, is easier to sand off. So I like to take my sandpaper, put my penny with the Lincoln Memorial side down, and then just sand off as much as I can. After a little bit of sanding, you'll see that the zinc side of the penny is starting to show through. But there's still quite a bit of copper, so we need to keep sanding until the entire face of the penny is zinc. Eventually, you'll see that you've sanded off the entire copper surface of the penny. The whole face is this shiny, silvery zinc color. So go ahead and do that with the other three pennies that were made after 1982. Once you have that fourth penny sanded, you'll have four pennies that have zinc on one side, copper on the other, and then that fifth intact penny, and you'll be ready to start building your cell. Go ahead and take the four mat board squares and dry them off on your paper towel. And we're going to start building the individual cells that will combine in series to create your battery. So we're going to assemble each cell of this battery and then combine the cells to make the complete battery. You're going to do that by taking the sanded penny with the zinc side up and placing a salty mat board on top. And you'll repeat it with the three other sanded pennies. We're going to start assembling this battery by taking one cell that is zinc, salt, and the copper that's on the bottom of the next penny as my first cell. And this is actually one and a half cells because I have another surface of zinc and salt ready for my next penny. I'm going to keep going until I have my fourth map board right on top. So I have zinc, salt, and it's ready for copper side. And that's where that fifth penny comes in because both sides are copper. So you can just put that whichever way you want, either side on top, and now I have a four cell battery that is made of alternating layers of zinc, salt, and copper. To see if your battery works, you want to try to power something, and that's where your LED comes in. LEDs only work in one direction, so this is important. Take a look at your LED and see which leg is slightly longer. The slightly longer leg is the positive terminal. And that's the side that's going to go to your intact copper penny. So I'm going to bend my LED so the short leg goes to the bottom and the top leg goes to the top. And you can see that the red LED starts to light. So this five penny battery is enough to power a red LED. At this point, to make it easier, you can take a small piece of electrical tape and wrap the whole battery together. So that you have a little flashlight. 